it's the first time that FAO is able to provide this information to its member countries, uh, provide them to them and to the international community. And in fact, the data are part of the upcoming uh, IPCC report. Um, the findings uh, confirm the role of uh, agriculture, forestry, and other land use sector as an important em em emission sector, and therefore highlight uh, the fact that agriculture needs to be part of the of the global solutions to climate change. Uh, they also highlight the fact that crops and livestock uh, agriculture uh, is an important sector compared to, uh, or it's as important as deforestation and other land use uh, components. Of course, all the management activities that lead to crop and, and livestock production contribute to, to the overall emissions. Um, uh, in the land use component, deforestation is very important. Um, there are other components that then become important depending on the region. So overall, globally, livestock is a major contributor, but then if you go, uh, you know, this picture can change country by country, region by region. For example, in Africa, uh, biomass burning, uh, prescribed burning of savannas is an important component of the emissions. In my opinion, absolutely yes, in the sense that it helps clarify where hotspots of emissions can be, both globally but regionally at the, at the country level. Uh, countries are called upon by the Climate Convention to identify these hotspots as the first step in, in then planning uh, their mitigation actions into, into the future. Also as FAO, we're, we're also able to highlight the connections between these potential actions and their, link, their positive linkages for uh, um, improving the food security situation and the overall sustainability of uh, production systems.